Hey everybody and welcome back to the Creative Kindergarten YouTube channel. My name is Amanda and today I wanted to share with you some fun and quick literacy activities that you can do with your students who are just starting to learn their letter sounds and starting to blend some letter sounds together to read. That's like one of the hardest skills I find trying to teach kids how to even just start blending two sounds together. Um, so I thought I would put together this fun little video of these really easy to do activities that my students are loving this year. And so basically all you're going to need is a black marker, a sheet of paper and some scissors just to cut up that sheet of paper into like squares or rectangles. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip my camera so that you can just see like my hands showing you exactly uh, what I'm just going to sh uh, do with those pieces of paper is just to make it easier for you to be able to visualize what I'm talking about. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure you hit that um, thumbs up button. Leave me a comment. Are there any activities that you like to do with your students to work on beginning reading skills? Leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear it. Or if you have any questions, leave me a comment. So yeah, let's just get started with it. Okay, so the first thing I did was I just got a white piece of regular printing paper and I just cut them all up into rectangular shapes, just left them blank, just like that. And then I also got some other, like I got blue. Uh, you could use whatever color you want just to differentiate the vowels from the consonants. So whenever I do something with the vowels, I put it on a different colored paper just to help my students differentiate between the two. And the first thing I do with them is I don't get anything else prepped other than these pieces of paper. And the first thing I do is I play a game called, can you guess my letter? So I'm just gonna take the scissors away because we won't need those anymore. All you needed the scissors was for to cut up the uh, piece of paper. So now let's play, can you guess my letter? To play the game, all I do is I pick my first piece of paper. If I'm gonna use uh, a consonant, I just pick a white piece of paper. And then I make the first stroke of what of whatever letter I plan on having them guess. So I have my just a black Sharpie marker and you could do any letter that you want that you've already taught your students. So I'm just going to make one straight line down and then I say, can you guess my letter, my letter, my letter? Can you guess my letter? I wonder what it is. And then from that one line, and I always tell them it's going to be lowercase letters. That's the other important part. I always use lowercase letters. They can guess. So my the first person might guess the letter L. I say, oh, not a letter L. Can somebody else guess it? And I usually give them three tries. So they might guess L, they might guess T, they might guess P. And I say, oh, none of those letters. Uh, let's do the second line and tell me if you know what it is. And then what I'll do is I'll just make the second one. And now they'll probably be able to tell you, oh, it's a letter B. And I say, yes, the letter B. And what does the letter B say? B, B, B. So now we've um, worked on letter recognition, letter formations, and letter sounds uh, just with this fun little simple activity. And then I keep going and I do different letters. So now they know that the blue is going to be our consonant. So what I, uh, our vowel, sorry. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do the first line again. And I say, oh, can you guess my letter, my letter, my letter? Can you guess my letter? I wonder what it is. And, you know, they might guess, uh, I don't know, what could that be? A T, they might guess different letters. And then I'll say, oh, it's a vowel. And they might guess an E on the first try. If they do, then I just complete the letter and I show them and then I ask them, what does the letter E say? And we go, eh, eh, eh. And I keep doing that for all of the letters and sounds that we have learned. It might not be the whole alph alphabet or it could be the whole alphabet. You can keep adding to them as you learn more, but I use these cards all year long for different games. But this is just the first way that I make the cards with my students. Now, once those letter cards are made and you have a nice little pile of them that you've made along with your students, this might take a couple days, this might be a few weeks in, whatever it might be, as soon as you have a few letter cards, I start using them to start reviewing letter sounds with my students. When I review the letter sounds using these cards, I don't even make the students say the letter name. All I ask them to do is say the letter uh, sound and so, and I make it go really quickly so that it develops that automaticity. So this is might be what it looks like. I'm just gonna play the role of the student. My voice is usually off as an educator while we're doing this and it's just my students following along and saying the letter sound. So this is what it might sound like in our classroom. Ah, b, e, t, 
어. 오. 어. 그. 음. 에. If there's a letter sound in there that they don't get correct, I might hold it back and review that one at the end. Um, but usually after we've done this a few times, they get really quick at saying all the letter sounds and it really starts getting that fluency up for when they're reading. The next thing I can use these letter cards for is to start working on blending skills. And this one is so much fun for my students. They really love it. So what I might do is just start working with two sounds at once. So this is usually projected like exactly what you would see on this screen right now is usually what's projected onto my classroom screen. And I use our classroom projector and I usually just put two uh, letters together, a vowel and a consonant, just to start practicing blending two sounds together. These are not going to be actual words and um, they're just two sounds that they can start blending together. So I'll put these two um, letters together and I will say, okay, let's blend the sounds. And sometimes I point to each one. A student might raise their hand and just say, ought. And I'm like, perfect. But some other students might need some help with ah. Ought, ought, and I might ask them to put them together to blend the two sounds, ought, and then I'll ask them, is that a real word or a nonsense word? Is ought real or nonsense? And they'll say, no, it's a nonsense word. And I'm like, that's perfect. It is a nonsense word. And I can keep switching out um, the vowel sound if I want to, or you can switch out the consonant sound. And then I might put that and I will say, okay, let's blend the two sounds. And another student might say, it, it. And I say, real word or nonsense word? And most students will say, oh, it's a real word. And I say, yeah, it is a real word, it. And then we might take out the consonant and I just pull that away and I might put a different consonant and then they'll uh, say, blend those two sounds together, ib, ib. And then they, this is just purely working on blending two sounds together. This is great for our students who are just learning how to read, just being able to blend these two sounds. The results that I've seen from just simply doing this is amazing because I find that the, the, the stretch to go from just saying letter sounds to blending two sounds together is huge. And this is one of the ways that really helps my students work on it. Now that I've got them blending two sounds, the next step that I take is I might start having them blend three sounds. So for this one, I'll probably start with two sounds again. We'll go back to my ought example from before, and I might have one of my students blend ought, ought together. And I'll say real word or nonsense word. And they'll say, oh, that's a nonsense word. And I say, yeah, it is a nonsense word. But what if I add this sound to the word? And now I'll have them put all three sounds together. G ought, g ought, got. Is that a real word? And they'll say, yes, it is a real word. So now we've moved from just blending two sounds to blending three sounds together and getting to CVC words. And it isn't such a huge leap for the students to go from just letter sounds to blending the three letter words together. That in between step of blending the two sounds together really helps them move into the next step of blending CVC words together and makes it easier for them. And then again, you can switch it out again and say, okay, I'm going to take away the g, g, g sound and I'm going to put in the er sound instead. I might not even say this er sound. I might just say, I'm going to put this sound instead. What new word do we have? And then one of my students will raise their hand and say, rot. And then I say, great job. We've blended in a new sound, a uh, new word, rot. And then I might go, okay, I'm going to take away the Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah uh sound, and I'm going to put this sound instead. What word do I have now? Rot, and then we would just keep going. This can be as long as you want or as short as you want. You can um, switch out beginning sounds, middle sounds, ending sounds, whatever your students need. It might, um, I might change up the whole word depending on the student. I might change up the beginning sound or the ending sound depending on the student that I'm choosing. It all just depends on the skill that they're working on. But I've done all of those games and worked on a, such a variety of skill just using really simple pieces of paper and a black marker and the improvement that I've seen already in my students and how excited they are to learn how to read because they, um, I've made it just so easy. They can be successful at whatever entry level that you've 
put set up for them, it has made a huge improvement in their um, confidence in themselves as a reader. So that is um, really easy whole group or small group activities that you can do that will cost you nothing. Thank you so much for joining me for this quick little video showing you how you can use like really simple letter cards that are going to cost you no money and be super simple because you're not even prepping them other than cutting out the rectangles ahead of time. You're doing everything with your students and I just find so many different ways that they can be used in the classroom and the students really connect with them and are really excited when I take them out because they know it's going to be a fun interactive game. They're going to feel successful and yeah, I just love using them. Again, let me know in the comments, is there any other way you can think of to use these cards? Are there any games that your students really like and you found success with? Make sure you comment down below. If you're not al already following this channel, make sure you follow so you are updated whenever I release new videos. And again, hit that like button if you enjoyed listening to me talk about some simple literacy activities that you can do. I hope you have a great day and I will talk to you all next time. Bye.